Good morning, good morning, everybody. Blessings and praises to our God for his goodness toward us and for his uh, keeping us. And one of one of the verses I love praying from Psalms 118, I love praying it, declaring it. This is the day that the Lord has created. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Why, why should we rejoice and be glad in it? Because today... Uh, we have we have a creative purpose in today. So God, who created the day, has called us to a creative purpose. But I want to I want to uh, come on and talk to you today about uh, we're continuing our discussions on the breakthrough anointing and the creative the creativity anointing from Isaiah chapter forty five. And we're not going to be on uh, no more than five minutes. Okay, so just give us five minutes of your time. Uh, today I wanted to talk from verse number three, uh, where it says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you will know, uh, that you will know that I, the Lord, who called you by your name, am the God of Israel. Okay, now, uh, in our first video, if you, if you didn't watch the first video, go back. In the first video, we talked about verses one and two. And we, we talked about in those verses, uh, God says he raised up Cyrus and Cyrus had a breakthrough anointing. And so verses one and two in Isaiah 45 talks about breakthrough. Uh, God gave Cyrus an anointing to subdue uh, and to break open. OK, now here's what the Lord put on my heart. And uh, and I want to share and I'm going to develop this as a uh, as a series of teachings. So I'm just giving you sort of like a snapshot in five minutes, okay? But here's what the Lord showed me is that there is a connection between the breakthrough anointing and the creativity anointing. When you experience breakthrough, verses one and two, then you begin to move into creativity. <clears throat> Verse number three, and when God says, I will give you the treasures of darkness, OK, he's not talking about, you know, going into deserts or wildernesses and going into foreign lands to find treasure. But he's actually talking about the treasure within you uh, that has because, see, once once we break through, now we are in the light. OK, so when the so when the, uh, the Lord says, I will give you the treasures of darkness uh, he's talking about the creativity. This is how the creative anointing or the creativity anointing begins to manifest. I will bring out of you the creativity that's inside of you that was hidden from you. One of the greatest challenges of being creative is uh, being free. OK, and that's why we need breakthrough, because we got to be free. And so once we get free, which is what breakthrough is, then the Lord says now he can give us the treasures of darkness. He couldn't give it to us while we was in bondage. But now that we are free, he will give us the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches in secret of secret places. And this is what the Lord told me. I love this. The, the hidden riches is, is a double portion of wisdom that we, that releases abundance in you because see whenever you are creative and I'm I'm uh, and I know uh, Prophet Andrea is very creative creative scribe uh, Pastor uh, Pastor Gilbert Cox the I prophesied to you sir the the Lord says that you have a prosperous that you have an anointing to create prosperity okay so that's that's creativity because you can't prosper on a job. You got to you got to have different streams to really prosper in the financial realm is what I'm talking about. You can make a living on a job, but it, but it's it, but if you want to be wealthy, you got to have different streams and you got to have diversity in your in your life. OK, let me wrap this up. So the hidden the hidden riches of secret places is the double wisdom that we, that releases abundance it it's seeds that brings forth harvest. That's really what creativity is all about. Creativity is anything that that we produce, that we create, that we make, that releases abundance out of us and begins to bring abundance in our life. Okay, now th this creativity anointing. Okay, uh, 
God really, God really imparts this anointing upon us so that we will know, so that we will know him as the Lord and the God of Israel. Now, this is what the Lord says about knowing him, okay? Knowing God, we can only know God by experience. That's why most of the church don't know God because they, they know him by sermons and messages. They know him by uh, stories in the Bible. But until you've had an experience with God that begins to give you vision, okay? When you have an experience with God that gives you vision, Okay, then that releases creativity in you. It's very hard, okay? It's very hard to have a vision of God and experience of God and not be creative. One of the one of the reasons why creativity is stirred in those who have been set free, okay? That you will know that I the Lord have called you by your name and I am the God of Israel and God created Israel in a day. It, it, Israel, and that's why Israel is really a miraculous nation. It's it's a hated nation in the world, but but Israel is a is a miraculous nation because God created it in a day. All right, so so this is this is Isaiah forty five and three. The breakthrough anointing. There's a link between the breakthrough anointing and creativity anointing. So go forth, you that are free, you that have broken through. Go forth and create today. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Prophet Andrea, uh, Pastor Cox. Thank you so much for joining us. Y'all have a great day.